Hello guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Just looking out my window here, looking over there, just thought, why not, play to start. And also, I've already tried, the villagers have survived so far. I do need to do some training of them with paper, and see if you have actually got a mending book. Because it'd be cool if you did, because there is a chance it might. But yeah, I've got, what am I going to be doing today? I'm going to be doing a slightly, a slightly different project from anything bad in this area. And work it, but still kind of stick here with the kind of cavern area, my base, I like to call it. But I'm going to cut the door, so... Nothing can get in here. It's not the best way to do it, I know, but hey. So I don't think we can attack them in boats, but don't risk it. So, yeah, a couple of things to note before we do what we want to do. I have worked in this area a lot. It's basically almost finished now. So, you've got Pasco up here with cobblestone, loads of trees everywhere. Back one, I'm not so sure about me, but how I probably need to sort that out. But I'm not going to do that right now. I've got my chance to get which I want to kind of build a room for. If I'm going to keep it there, let's go to move it. This bit was kind of a really weird rabbit foot. Oh, that's not, that didn't go to plan. Oh well. You know, you could probably just keep that as part of the actual thing and get rid of that bit of wheat. Yes, yeah, so you've got this over here, go to over there, and then it loops down a back and path. And over here, look, you've got a little building. I best know that's my normal house. And over here, look, you can go this way through as well, which just takes you out like that. Maybe you've got this little water feature around here. Oh, you've got this big house over here. Well, not big house, just a little house. It's not the nicest thing ever, but it kind of no, it works, it's a good thing to have. Then you've got the little water feature over here, there's wheat everywhere, water valves, I quite like it, it looks really quite good. And if we stack up to, oh yeah, if we stack up, have a look at it from the top, like, yeah, just use cobble, like this, if we stack up quite a long way, I don't know, just up right here, look, you can see it's quite, let's go a bit further, you kind of see it looks really quite nice and lush and quite nice actually, doesn't it really? But I like that area. So yeah, that's that area mostly finished. I'll probably work on it a little bit off camera. It's just like a little project to do. But you want to do a little bit more. Sort out the tree situation a bit more. But it's quite nice to have these little paths you can walk around. More quite nice and accessible. Etc. And look, you can just wiggle around here through there. Up the trees. Up to the never portal if you want to. You get quite a nice view everywhere from coming out with the portal. But yeah. And you've got this little water feature down side over here. But what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be building a mob spawner. Might as well say. Probably be on my thumbnail. So... Right, so I'm not really giving it away or anything, but it's going to be in this area up here. And I've got a, quite a unique idea for what I want to do with it. It's going to be in this whole area over here, and this tree is probably going to have to go, but it's going to be above there. So if we come out over here and look, this bit needs sorting out if I kick it, it really is quite messy over here. Is what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building it up here a bit, and it's going to be quite a long one, but we're going to have we're going to have all the mobs funnel down and fall down where the tree went. And then I'm going to possibly think about doing it as like a floating, put it on a floating island, which could be quite ambitious, but I think you do that, and then it can look like the grass were taken out of here to build on there. And you see what I mean, but the point being, what, sorry about that noise, but what's going to happen is, basically, we're going to have a mob spawn, it's going to be up there, just above where the tree is, so not too high, we're also going to fall down and fall all the way down to the bottom of a mob, bottom of a thing down there, where they'll all die. And, yeah, so I'm going to make it quite a big drop, so I definitely not. And have them all down here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to disguise it, because mob spawners don't look the most beautiful thing, thing ever. And everything else is quite nice. I don't want a big mob spawn. So I'm going to try and disguise it in a castle, like a floating sky castle, up here with the ground taken out of the earth over there. So you've got a big crater which is ground taken out, and you've got a castle up there with fingers going down for a bit. It'll be quite unique. I hope you can pull it off. Hope you can. It'll be quite cool. It just goes up this door, so it will be. We need to get rid of that area, don't I? But hey, can't be bothered at the moment. Uh, why are you taking our way from there? That must be. But yeah, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to gather up all the resources and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so way up in the sky up here, as you can see, quite a nice view down there, I have to do that. Yeah, it looks like there's some sort of really nice lush island, it's just quite cool to go down there, but we have right on top of here, and we're up at y equals 105, where I've decided to build this. And yes, we've got two andesite platforms built out, the size they need to be. So six blocks wide, 30 blocks long, which should be 30 blocks, I've done track, six blocks in the middle, and that's what this should be like. And in here we've got all the resources we're going to need, can have an idea what I'm going to build it out of there. I've got a lot more to do, and andesite. I just keep on mining it. There's a massive. I just went down. Hey there, there's a massive load of andesite down there. So I'm just using that if I ever run out. So had to do that just then. But yeah, and I also got some sticky pistons because I used our kind of strange slime farm, which isn't really particularly that good, but works in some ways because I understand somewhere on AFK. That staircase looks awful. 
I don't know what I don't know what that was meant to be, but yeah, I'll go eventually. But what we need to do now is I need to start placing the dispensers in. So I'm gonna do this on top of andesite, because I like andesite. But base block, anything that's left will be made of andesite. And what we're here, we need dispensers. I'm not gonna build all the layers since the tutorial. The tutorial is by Mumbo Jumbo, good YouTube, but I like him. And the link will be in the description. I'm probably going to give it a couple because of dispensers and not having enough bows. I've used so I can buy stuff from a fish farm, but I don't want to waste too many. So yeah, we need to place dispensers like that with four blocks cross place with us. So I'm going to do all that, place down the dispensers, and also this bit here is going to get extended out so water flows well. So from here you're going to have like that, then it's going to go one, two, then on the other side you're going to have it like that, poke it out. So I'm going to do all that, I'll do all of this, and then I'll be back. See you then. Okay, so yeah, we've done the walls over here. I swapped them around the colours in the end just because... Well, because that bit's going to be hidden behind bed, so I don't want the be visible. So I might as well use it. And I'm also going to some, um, some um, coal blocks, just so I, mainly. I think it looks pretty slightly better. And also, because it means I don't have to use as much come low, that's all the orange state clay I've got left. So, for the next day, I'm going to have to go out and mine it all again. But, what I want to do now is I need to do some bedstone work. Not, not, I don't necessarily want to, but I need to, is what I need to say. Mm. That's just... So, lots of sandstone, and what we need to do, we need to do the stone on the back of these droppers over here, just to get them all up, and so I'm going to do that, then I'll be back, see you then. Okay, yes, yeah, so we've finished off this layer, and there's no stone, if you look over there, but you can't see, but there's no stone over there, just trust me on that. But what I need to do now, I need to repeat this, I don't know how many layers I'm going to do, uh, I'm, I'm just going to go, probably go for two, I get that operational before thinking about if I want any more layers or not. I'll probably just step back and see what looks best to be honest, because I don't often. I think it'll be easy to build a building round at that point. Or to disguise it if it's smaller, just because it's easier and less of a building to do. But yeah, what I'm going to do now is I need to sort out the clay situation. So I'm just going to go for a bit of clay mining and more sandstone, so I can just get enough resources to build another layer, which we've got hold. Not to bring you to the table, you don't have hey, got it bothered. Let's keep my food, please don't blow up. Just miss that. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do all that, and there's a few bits in here, so that's quite a lot in there, actually. And I also need to get some more things. I'm just going to do it all, then I'll be back. See you then. Okay, yeah, so I've got a long way into actually building this thing so far. This is the second layer, and we're the last one for now. But yeah, I've done all this. I just need now I need to buy up with redstone, and I'm buying up with sandstone, so I need to get some more of that. And then I'm just going to, all I need to do then is the timing circuits and put a roof on this, and that'll be the end of that. So, see you. I'm just going to do all that off cam. Well, not all of it. I'm going to get this whole layer done. And also put in the torch tower, I think, and then I'll be back to see you then. Okay, so yeah, I've done this layer. I, well, where I said do it, I just did the best stone down there, which you can't see, but it didn't work for it. it's there. But what I've decided to do, I looked at this and went, actually, I want to do an extra layer for it because it looks horrible like this. Well, not horrible, it just looks a bit squashy. But another layer will make it look quite good and bring up to nearly where that line up there, which I think what I wanted to aim for. But what I'm going to do, but I haven't got enough, I don't have enough string. Yeah, I do now have enough string, but I didn't have enough string to do enough dispensers. I had enough to build ten, I sacrificed some, and you're probably going to hate me for doing it, but I sacrificed some things for it, so, sorry, but things happen, don't they? But yeah, I got all that done, I will need to get more iron for buckets, but I got, and also, I got a load of andesite, and I dug out a massive area. So what I'm going to do it, I'm going to build in a third layer, but instead of jump cutting it, I'm going to do it as a time lapse, but before the time lapse, I went for never to try and get, well, not, not try and get some string, I just went somewhere else to find some string. And anyway, it was quite funny, and I'm just going to show you a few clips of that, and then after that, you get a crack away. Right on with a time lapse! I've just spent. Yeah. I'm going to get a bit of trouble here, guys. The portal blew up, I'm dying. Fire everywhere. This is a really bad place to be. There's a gas firing at me! Um, a bit of spot of bother here. Okay. Okay, yeah, I went through this portal here and found a skeleton. Creeper, creeper blew up. Um, now there's a gas attacking me. Gas, what's a gas? A gas. Now we're a bit annoyed because I killed one of them because the creeper upgraded it. Look at this for a scene of devastation. Right, quite out loud. This is really now. There we are. That's that gone down. Okay. Let's get this sorted out. And I know how to be like portals, don't don't worry about that. That's the reason why I always because all you need, I've got a bucket on me. We need some wood, which we'll just use some oak. And need some lava. Which look at where we are shouldn't 
be your most difficult task ever. When I say that, playing it down to the law is a different matter. Oh, it drops. Oh, see what I mean? Pigment all annoyed at me. Oh well. Oh, I'm glad I got five possessions. I've had about five loads. Look, it'll take a bit of battery, but my helmet's alright. It's got levels. That's a good thing about that. Okay, so where's some lava? Let's try and find some lava over here. Get way back. So what you need to do, if you have a truck to whatever, but you've got a bucket, and you can find iron and whatever, so you're never probably trapped, you need to basically put your bucket out, and then put lava in it, place it there, and wow, that's a big magma cream. Magma, magma cream, whatever it is. But yeah, you just need to do that, and then you should be sorted. But yeah, you place it under a flower object, the portal should eventually catch fire as a blaze ever there, that's when away from you. Yeah, I think we could actually do something quite cool about never. Probably if we did a hub over there though, but not right now, let's get some magma cream while we're at it or whatever. There we are. You just slightly irritated to bees. Oh they give you damage little magma creams. Weird. Dead slime stuff do that, but hey, whatever. Okay, so what you need to do literally under here, you need to really just place in the lava. Lava object should catch fire eventually. And wait for a few minutes. So yeah, that was a bit of a lava. Guess who I've just found on my boat of a nether? The village will be lost ages ago. What are you, a leather worker? <laughs> right, I don't, why is he got lost? Okay. So why is he just, that's where we went. Okay. Yes. We've got two of them. Just found two villagers. My days come true. This is brilliant. Now we can do a spawn eventually for villagers. We've got three of them. It's good. Good. We need to get these out of here, but what I'm going to do to protect them, because villagers don't despawn, is literally do that. No, no one can attack you. Aww. Well, there was one there. Let's light it up with some torches. This is absolutely brilliant, so I think what I might be doing next episode, if I can get this mob spawner thing finished, is possibly doing some villager related things. It's an okay, but I said I'll do, but now we've got three of them all near enough to our base. I'm hoping. He did have two, but one of them died, unfortunately. That's why I'm saying three. But what? And these are brown coat villagers. We, we actually are very close to be able to make a forest. We need to put one in a cell below, and then these two can make a freezer. Then we can get on with some village related projects and try and get some librarians. Brilliant! I can't be happier right now. That is absolutely fantastic news for me. But I've just found these two. I wonder if there's any more wandering around. Maybe I'll just do a bit more exploring while I wait for the portal to set on fire. Look, it's coming. Ah, it's not worked. That should have worked. Okay, we're stuck now. This is problematic. Ah, how can you die in Minerva without killing yourself? Ah, brilliant. This has all gone pear shaped. Yeah, but I'm happy about those villagers. That's good. I found them. I wonder where they went. Hello, and what I'm going to be doing today in this time lapse is slightly different from what I've done in other time lapses because I don't normally talk of them, normally just put on some music, get you to listen to it. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a little bit of a talk to you while you're watching me do some tasks on me basically building a roof. I can see it now because I'm doing it, recording it onto the editing software, but that's complicated. And yeah, but what I'm going to be talking about today is my schedule. As you may be aware, it's kind of been a long time since I last got the video out. As I'm getting this one out, it's going to be a week since the last video, which is not particularly too good, seeing as this video was meant to be coming out a week ago. So I'm kind of started to think, is it really worth keep, keeping up a schedule? Because with being busy and schoolwork and all those type of things, and also wanting just to keep up with YouTube videos of other people and all, and just spending time doing mine and also the fact I'm not efficient which is a bad thing yes it probably is sorting but I'm like that and being efficient with these type of things but I'm kind of sorted to think I'm not necessarily going to be able to keep up the same quantity of videos which I have been doing recently as in the two a week one so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be keeping a similar schedule to what I currently have which is basically if you haven't noticed the pattern I will let's let's just start it as of for let's say this video for example there'll be this video coming out and what we're going to do this is going to be a midweek video then but next then on a saturday there would have been a train simulator obviously two video and then there'll be another midweek video 
after that on a Tuesday, which would be a roller coaster tycoon world video. Then on a Saturday, another roller co not roller coaster tycoon world trade simulator, obviously two video. And then on the next Tuesday, there would finally be Minecraft again. So basically, in between each trade simulator. Yeah, no, sorry. Each Minecraft and Roller Coaster Tycoon World video, there would be three videos in between each train simulator or Obviously video, or any other video like First Fox or anything I want to do for those. There would be another video out as well. There'll be one video in between those because they're released every other video. But what I want to do, I'm going to keep up that timetable, but instead of doing it as in every, well, twice a week, so Minecraft every other week, Roller Coaster Tycoon World every other week, right? Train Simulator, obviously is every week. I'm just going to basically be doing it as a, this is how often my video is going to come out. i stick to that. i basically do it as frequently as I possibly can. So that means at one point I have to take a couple of weeks off because I'm busy. Then I have to take a couple of weeks off. But, but overall, but also if I really bit have really loads of time, you might be getting weekly, Michael, because I'm getting so many out. I'm getting four videos out a week. I can do it that often. As if you, and that's basically the aim I'm going for on this channel with all these videos that I want to do it. And if I want to put extra ones in every now and then, I don't know what I might want to do. I might want to put a few extra things in. Not too sure. Then I will do that as well. And I'll put in a fourth video if needed. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, so, yeah. Hopefully, you'll just to tire that thing. So, but yeah, anyway, what we've done now, we've finished this off, well, we've done this now, and it's not finished yet, we've got a bit more to do, but we're very, 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 very nearly finished, and we've got to the right height, what to do, which is why it's scaffolding, what it was, it's now getting destroyed, so yeah, I was just be thinking through what it looked like, I bet it, but yeah, quite nice, actually, I'm really clever, mm. it's really frustrating, actually, because I want to make a villager, but I can't do it, because I can't get some down from here, and it's all gone wrong. I probably could actually if I wanted to, so maybe I would want to do that at some point. Well, not right now. What I want to do now is I want to continue. So I need to start placing some torches down and all sorts of other side. Uh, it's a bit complicated. I'll do it. And yeah. And then I'll probably end up the episode there because this episode is taking me an age to record. Absolutely ages. But yeah. Yeah, anyway. Was, I'm, you know what? What I might just do is. Do, do, do. Wait, I'll say get down safely from here. Right. But, oh, it's kind of this. That needs covered up, doesn't it? Let me really start that. This needs covered up. That doesn't look very good. The rest of it's covered up, but that bit isn't. Yeah, so I'm going to just basically need to build some things around the bottom over here. Let's have a quick look at it, but need to build some things around the bottom of that area. And, uh, yeah, it looks quite cool. Could be a little bit taller, but I quite like it like that. Because maybe we could. Because I quite like it being slightly sh shorter, I suppose. But yeah, maybe we can build things. Now that we need to just build some torch towers up the side, and then that'll be that thing finished. And I might briefly work on a drop system. I don't know. I'll see how long I've got left. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to do that. Then I'll be back. See you then. Okay, yes, yeah, so I've done this part of the tutorial. Basically, this bit is just for, you need to put a line around here, sticky pistons under there, block on top of a sticky piston, six blocks along here, and do that a mirror on both sides. And on this side over here, if I could possibly navigate myself over here. Ooh, ah, probably not navigate myself over here. You know what? Um, ooh, why do I Okay, don't pop it over now. We got our most for in a minute. I'm not going to have to use any moves, but get nearly, nearly, nearly finished with this project, apart from not being chased. But look over there, look, you got the torch towers as well. To show you, but yeah, I'm gonna do the next bit next. I figured maybe just the main timing panel, get all that done, then it's explained to you. Basically, just finish off the thing, get it explained to you. Uh, then I'll end off the episode there because next episode we'll work on a killing system for them and also on some sort of some sorting system, maybe even start some decoration. But yeah, I'm gonna do that, and yeah, I'll be back when that finishes. See you then. Okay, yes, I put in all my water buckets down here, and um, this is the bottom floor. And I've wired all the things out front, so water buckets all in, ready to go. Won't be going right yet, but. It's getting there, and as you can see out here, look, you've got a hopper timer, which needs 20 items to actually get it to work. But what we need to do now, is we need to do the top section of a monster spawner. And this needs cleaning up eventually, so I need to actually do the roof to it. And that should be still be like the bear. I'm going to leave the torch to speak, because the, the water washes it away, so it's just point to leave to get way in there. But, yeah, so what we just need to do, we need to, I'm going to put an andesite roof on here to match the rest of the build. And then, I'm going to... Move my way back down, clear up any mess I've got left. And uh, that will be the end of the episode. So I'm going to do that with I know I said last time I could be end, but I thought do more of this. And then this episode's finally finished. And I want to tell you, this video has taken forever. 
I'm probably getting up for about 10 hours after work with something like this. It's absolutely ridiculous how long it's taken. But who got a mob spawner? It was a bit sluggish at times, but hey, this works. Anyway, I'm going to do that by the way back. See you then. Okay, let's just now play my last few blocks. And yeah, so that's a few all finished. I'm actually mob spawner done. It should now be working if we wanted it to. You may be wondering why did I make this out of cobblestone? Mainly because it needed a lot of blocks. It didn't have enough andesite. I tried, but I didn't have enough. Um, so I thought, what block do I have a lot of? Oh look, I have a lot of it's cobblestone. And it doesn't, it doesn't look the best ever, but it doesn't look worst ever. Was what I thought with it in the end. So yeah, we've done that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that was a bit of a fall. And there's a creeper there. Creeper there. Yeah, but that's all that finish. And also, I guess by having it cobblestone, it doesn't look that good. But I guess it reminds us that we need to build something out there, don't we? Build a big sort of thing. I'll try to that. Oh, maybe good. I don't know. Will that put... I, don't, I don't know how I'll do it. I have to do some experimenting about and thinking through. What I'm thinking is, and you could keep it like that, because it doesn't look ugly if we look back there. The roof would possibly need changing, but only really needs to be the trim around the side. Look, it's working. But yeah, it doesn't really, it's all right, it doesn't not work, but I think it'd be quite cool if you keep it, maybe encompass that thing, but then also put it on a frozen island and make it look a bit more like a castle than a big turret going up to an AFK area. I think would possibly make it look a bit like, like better, but no, I quite like that as an addition to our base, it looks quite cool, and it should all be working, obviously, we're not going to do a killing platform today, because I've not got any time, but I'll be doing next episode, and uh, probably probably episode after that, I'll get started working with decoration things, and yeah, I've got a unique idea for a killing thing, which would involve using this tree, well, where the tree is, but you'll see more about that next episode, but anyway guys, thank you for watching, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, goodbye.